Defana! Reconstitute! There is no escape! Surprise! Stefana! <laughs> This realm is truly beginning to thrive. I cannot help but be stirred. If you ever have any questions about the realm within, you may ask me. Surprise! Hello! It's an honor to be invited into your home. It's even better than I imagined. I really appreciate the way this space combines popular aesthetics with your own personal style. Hmm, such a pleasant surprise. Decorating is not one of my areas of expertise, I'm afraid. Although, I could certainly give you some advice on keeping the place well ventilated, if you want. The ventilation system I use in my perfume studio is one that I designed myself. As you can imagine, a perfume studio has more stringent ventilation requirements than other indoor spaces. Beyond that, it's worth giving some serious consideration to the position of doors and windows. Of course, these are just suggestions. If you have friends with more relevant expertise, you should ask them too. Hello! It's an honor to be invited into your home. Of course, as long as I'm not keeping you from anything. Why don't you pick a topic? Ah, oh, well, since you asked, forgive me for being blunt, but I'm afraid not. The scenery here makes it a great place to live, but it's missing quite a few necessities as far as a perfume studio is concerned. Perfumes have very strict storage requirements. It takes a lot of dedicated equipment. Of course, there's nothing stopping you from bringing the place up to spec. If you did that, it could make a fine studio space indeed. You're not the first person to ask me that question. Some people even believe certain perfumes can help you stay alert or increase productivity. But unfortunately, that's just wishful thinking. Certain fragrances can have a temporary relaxing effect on people, but long-term exposure to strong scents actually has a negative effect on the brain. If you want my personal opinion, beyond being well-rested and sober, the best way to improve concentration is to minimize exposure to external stimuli. Before you begin a task, you need to remove all distractions and make sure your environment is suited to long hours of uninterrupted work. If you ignore those two factors, you're setting yourself up for failure, no matter what your mental state is. The weather's great today. Hmm. Although, now I think about it, the weather here is the same every day. Oh, is this like a user feedback form? Ahem. <clears throat> Time to get serious, then. First, five stars for the environment. The view here is beyond breathtaking. I'm talking a once-in-a-lifetime kind of experience. And on top of that, there's definitely some kind of yokai power here that I can't put my finger on just yet. Second, five stars for comfort. I've been getting some great night's sleep in my box. There's been no noise, no bright lights, no nothing. I couldn't have asked for anything more. And finally, another five stars for service. There's really nothing for me to nitpick in this category. You deserve all the praise. 
I'm the one that should be thanking you. Huh? Did I miss one? Oh, wait, I get it. This is the open-ended question where I can mention anything that hasn't already been covered. All right, let me think. I've taken quite an interest in that huge emerald finch. She looks chubby and fluffy and seems to be going through life without a care in the world. A teapot spirit? You mean like a Tsukumogami? Are you saying her original form is an actual teapot? Or are you saying this is in fact her original form, but she can turn into a human girl just like me? Oh, this is so exciting! You have to introduce me to her! Thank you.